Welcome to another food challenge video. Today I'm very excited. I'm in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I am in Rapid River. I am at Jack's restaurant about to attempt their 80th anniversary five pound cinnamon roll challenge. Now this is very exciting. This is a one-time food challenge. They are celebrating their 80th anniversary as a restaurant. Jack's was founded in 1943. Challengers have 19 minutes and 43 seconds the year the restaurant was founded, to finish an 80 ounce for the 80 year celebration cinnamon roll. If you can finish it in the allotted time, you get an $80 gift certificate and a t-shirt commemorating your accomplishment. Now this is a free event. There's going to be, I believe 15 to 20 people also doing it and everyone's just competing against the time. It is not going to be an easy feat by any means. Five pounds of bread in less than 20 minutes is going to be difficult, but I am excited to give it a shot. Also, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my cousin, Chris, who set me up with this shirt for his racing. Yeah, double day racing. He and his daughters do races uh, in the summertime. I really hope I can get out to one, but the shirts were absolutely amazing, so I had to get one. 19 minutes and 43 seconds. It's going to be difficult, but cinnamon rolls are delicious. Without further ado, let's go inside, check this place out. Come on, 
Hey everybody and welcome back to another food challenge video where today I'm fairly sure I've bitten off more than I can chew. Literally. I first want to thank all the people who follow me that sent me this challenge. I love an excuse to get back to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and this was just the one. There were still a few final challenges I wanted to complete in the area and this was my last challenge of the trip. When they brought this out I was thinking no way. It was huge. As mentioned in the intro, this is an 80 ounce or 5 pound cinnamon roll. The 80 is for Jack's 80th year in business. It was weighed after cooking and frosting was added to accommodate to the 5 pound weight. I've never done a challenge with this much bread in such a short time limit. 19 minutes and 43 seconds to be exact the year that Jack's opened for business. I apologize in advance for the dunking, but once this came out, I knew the only way I had any chance was to minimize the amount of chewing. Even with the dunking, this tasted amazing. I was worried how sweet it would be, and believe it or not, I like sweets, but in smaller quantities. But this was not overly sweet at all. It had the perfect consistency. I was very impressed as big items like these are often very difficult to cook. What's your favorite sweet treat? Is it a cinnamon roll or something else? Let me know down in the comments. There were around 15 other competitors scattered throughout the restaurant also trying the same challenge I was. I want to give a huge thanks to Bobby, the owner, for organizing the event. She did an amazing job keeping everything in order. And also big thanks to the restaurant staff for keeping my beverages filled. I had an opportunity to meet a lot of great people at this event. The UP always has been my favorite place to do food challenges and this one was no exception. The people are just so nice and the food is always good. Do you think I had what it takes to finish this one time only challenge in a short time limit? Or have I met my match? Keep watching to find out. Thanks for tuning in to another food challenge video. If you like what you see, help the channel out by clicking the like button and sharing it with your friends. And if you're not already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss another upload. Thanks for watching. Yeah. 
down, one down. Hand down. You can do it, man. You can do it. So there you saw it. I finished the 80th anniversary cinnamon roll at Jack's in Rapid River, Michigan. I finished in 19 minutes and 32 seconds, very close to the end. Oh my gosh. First of all, my apologies for dunking. That was the only way I was going to get that down. And I really did not think I was going to finish. And I've been being completely honest with you on that. Um, fortunately, uh, I had that coffee as backup that really helped out. Wait staff was amazing, keeping me filled up on all the drinks that I needed. So for winning, I got uh, an $80 gift card and I will get a challenge t-shirt mailed to me specific to the challenge. Now, out of all the people that were there, I was the only one that finished. Um, someone else got halfway, a little over halfway, pretty impressive. Big thanks to the staff there, especially Bobby, the owner. I got a chance to meet her, very nice person. Um, appreciate her arranging all this. She did a great job with all the people that were doing it. Yeah, if you're in the area, make sure you come check this place out. This challenge is only available today for that event, so you can't do the challenge, but this place has been in business for 80 years. They've got a great following, so come check them out. They have a little bit to offer for everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.